good evening this evening one young person is going to share in holy communion for the first time i invite brody to come forward brody there is absolutely nothing more special for you than sharing in holy communion for the first time it is impossible to think of something that is more important more special than coming to share in holy communion we thank god for the faith and support of your parents and family that has brought you to this day yes please This mass is being offered for Paul Fryer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the feast of the dedication of the basilicas of Saints Peter and Paul apostles. Now in a moment of silence let us accept our unworthiness before the Lord. as we are going to celebrate the sacred mysteries you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the father to intercede for us lord have mercy May almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life let us pray defend your church o lord by the protection of the holy apostles that as she received from them the beginnings of her knowledge of things divine so through them she may receive even to the end of the world an increase in heavenly grace through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Three months after arriving in Malta with Paul, we set sail on the ship that had wintered at the island, an Alexandrian ship, with the twin brothers as its figurehead. We put in at Syracuse and stayed there for three days. Then we weighed anchor and came to Rhegium. After one day, there a south wind sprang up, and on the second day we came to Pretoria. There we found believers and were invited to stay with them for 7 days. And so we came to Rome. The believers from there when they heard of us came as far as the forum of Appius and three taverns to meet us. On seeing them Paul thanked God and took courage. When we came into Rome Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Paul lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance the word of the lord the lord has revealed to the nations his saving power O oh, sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous things his right hand and his holy arm 
have won him victory. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Immediately after feeding the people in the wilderness, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, Jesus went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, Jesus came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, it is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water and came toward Jesus. But when Peter noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When Jesus and Peter got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped Jesus, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. After Jesus invited Peter to come on the water, he had a great faith, and he was so enthusiastic and started walking. But halfway, he lost his faith out of fear and started sinking. And he shouted, Lord, save me. And Jesus saved him. My dear brothers and sisters, in our life journey, in our faith journey, we face so many obstacles, illnesses, actually crosses. Maybe some people, one after the other, we cannot express in words the way they suffer. But we need to believe there is a meaning behind our suffering. At the same time, our good Lord never leaves us. As Peter cried out, we need to cry, Lord, save me. That's more than enough. And Jesus is with us always. As Christians, sometimes, Actually, as human beings, we need to experience God's presence in our lives and around in good times. When the things are going smoothly in our life, and when all the dreams are coming true, 
we like to experience Jesus as present and we believe. But when things are going wrong, then we question, where is God? Why did he leave me? At the same time, we should not forget Jesus said, if you want to follow me, if you want to be a disciple of mine, take up your daily cross and follow me. Cross is not a part of our life. Cross is our life. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our good Lord strength and courage for us to carry our daily crosses, both in good and bad. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in its divinity. humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, what say my iniquities? Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The glory of his name. As we bring you this offering of our service, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that the truth handed down to you by the ministry of the apostles Peter and Paul may endure undefiled in, your, in our hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy Holy, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world make us grow in love together with francis our pope and thomas our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever let us praise our heavenly father with the words our savior jesus taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. By the mingling of this body and blood of Christ, in eternal life to us who receive this lamb of god you take away the sins of the world Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb may the body and blood of Christ 
bring up this
with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.